Make a beautiful crystal light strand with paper crafted crystals and NeoPixels. No soldering required. We've provided code samples with four different light modes. Check the learn guide at adafruit.com for the download link. You don't need a soldering iron to be able to do this project. Just some wire strippers and a screwdriver, along with our bolt-on kit, will let you connect your lights to the Circuit Playground Blue Fruit controller board. Strip the wires, neaten them up, and slip them through the holes in the board. The red wire goes to V out, the middle wire goes to A1, and the last wire goes to ground. Insert the screws, Attach the bolts and tighten it all down with a screwdriver. Now you're ready to connect to power and test it out. The crystal gem diffusers are made from laminated cellophane wrapping paper. Crinkle it up for lots of gorgeous texture and laminate it in a size 3 mil pouch. Press it down firmly to your vinyl cutter's sticky cutting mat. You can also cut the crystals by hand if you've got a very sharp knife and a lot of patience. If you're using a Cricut, open the Cricut design space. Upload the crystal gem files. You can find them at adafruit.com. Choose simple, continue, and then save as a cut image. Insert the file into your project. I like to change the color from black to make it easier to see. I made the files high resolution for cleaner, crisper lines, which means you'll need to resize them before cutting. Check the learn guide for the recommended size for each crystal template. I'm going to make this one 8 inches high. Go into the Custom Materials window and find Stencil Film 0.4 millimeters. Open it up and double check to make sure that your settings match mine. A fine point blade, single pass cut, and around 325 in pressure. I'm not sure if this is the default setting or not, so just make sure that that's what yours looks like. Now we're ready to cut. Arrange the layout so it fits your material and send it to the cutter. Be sure your dial is set to custom and select the stencil film material you just modified. If you put it in your favorites list, it'll show up on this uh, initial screen. So you do that by clicking this little orange star. Looks good, let's get cutting. These are the holes for the light strand. Start by creasing the scored edges. Also crease along the edges with the light strand holes. There's no score line there because I wanted to reinforce the top of the crystal a little bit more to make it stronger. Uh, so just line up the tabs and holes to find the correct fold line. Crease all the other tabs and score lines in the same direction.
Insert the top and bottom tabs from the outside so the tabs end up inside the crystal. Crease the other side too. Connect the tabs around the smaller bottom side of the crystal first, then do the sides. These three tabs we're gonna leave open so we can get the lights in, but we'll go ahead and do the two on the other side. Crumple up a small piece of unlimited cellophane to slip inside. This will create illusory crystal occlusions, catching the light and adding a whole other dimension of loveliness to your crystals. Slip the light into the light strand holes, facing downward so the NeoPixel shines into the depths of the crystal. Finish up by connecting the last three tabs. Power your crystals with the onboard USB port or a battery. Enjoy your handmade crystal lights. See the full build tutorial with downloads and instructions for customizing the code at learn.adafruit.com. Thanks so much for watching. If you like this video, please light up that like button and remember to subscribe for more delightful DIY project ideas.